What's up guys, Luke here from LukeTMarker.com. Today I want to do a trending video in the tech community, which is the What's in My Mac OS X Dock video. I'm just going to give you guys a quick tour of my dock, uh, list what I use the applications for, and uh, what I uh, do with them on a daily basis. So the first application you'll see in anyone's Mac OS X Dock is Finder, which is a gateway to all the folders, programs, uh, and documents, files on your Mac. Really great. The equivalent to Windows Explorer. The next application we have here in my dock is Mail, which syncs all your Gmail accounts, all your website accounts, everything comes right through my mail. The next application we have here is my web browser of choice, which is Safari. I mean, I use Firefox for the plugins on Mac. I do have it installed, but I just find that Safari runs so much quicker and smoother on Mac OS X. So as you see, it's quite fast opening and loading my website there, loading all the ads pretty quick. The next app we have here is iChat, which comes pre-installed in every Mac, which is a voice over IP application that will allow you to text chat, video chat, uh, screen share, file share, stuff like that, completely free. Uh, it relies on the AIM servers, so if you want to download this same client on Windows, just Google the AIM client, which is it's a fantastic client. Uh, you can do all that stuff. The next application is Skype, which is very similar to iChat. It is also a voice over IP application, which you can make actually, but the difference with Skype is you can actually make calls to landlines. Of course, that does cost extra, but uh, Skype, you can make free audio calls, video calls, computer to computer, screen share, really, really great. And they actually have Skype for the iPhone now, which is really cool. The next application we have here is Colloquy, which is an IRC application that will allow you to connect to different IRC rooms like WildRide, uh, Local Coast, Ustream, uh, and it's free, which is really great. Just so much better than using the web-based chat. The next application is my Twitter client of choice. Used to be a TweetDeck guy. I'm a Tweety guy now. Uh, just gives me just ease of app, uh, ease of access to my tweets, uh, other people's tweets that I'm following, my at replies, messages. It gives me an easy search application, and uh, it's all compact in this little window, which is really great. The next app we have here is my address book. I have over 330 addresses here. I keep contacts of everyone, email addresses, phone numbers, everything. So if I ever lose anything on my phone, I have it all backed up on my address book. The next app is iCal, which uh, is a lot of people underestimate because you know you can add your schedules, your meetings, and stuff. But if you actually go to Apple.com, you can download subscriptions. So, for instance, as you see here, I'm subscribed to DVD releases, so I know when new DVDs come out, new movies come out. Also, I'm subscribed to the U.S. and Canadian holidays. Today's Saturday, uh, September fourth, two thousand and nine. But uh, as you see up here, upcoming Monday. A Canadian and an American holiday is Labor Day, Monday, September 6th. Really great app. Highly recommend you get into that. The next application is iTunes, which I use to manage my iPod and uh, all my other iMusic stuff like that, videos, podcasts, and it's really great. The next app I don't use a lot, but uh, I hear it's very good for photo editing. I used to use, or not photo, but it's just uh, photo organizing. I used to use it on Leopard, but ever since I've installed it on Snow Leopard, I haven't opened it once. iMovie is the video editing suite I use. I mean, it's nothing like uh, huge, like Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, but it's what I need. It offers, you know, HD video support, uh, 16 by 9 video support. Um, it will import videos for my Flip Minnow HD, and it just makes everything so easy. It's great. Comes pre-installed on Mac OS X with iLife. This is iMovie 09. The next application is iDVD, which is a free DVD burning software that also comes in iLife 09. Uh, you can download programs uh, like uh, Roxio Toast. One of my friends uses that. He says it's great. But iDVD is free. You might as well. Frostwire is like LimeWire on Mac. You can download music, TV shows, uh, all that media stuff uh, with ease and you can just search for it and download it. Really great. Cam Twist is a uh, application that will allow you to alter a live feed from a camera plugged into your Mac via FireWire or even your iSight webcam. So when you, when you're streaming live on a website like Blog TV, Justin TV, Ustream TV, you can add different effects to the video when you're live, which is a really cool app. The next app is Photo Booth. Uh, you can add different effects to yourself, including let's see, uh, see what we can get some effects here, some uh, thermal camera stuff like that. Really cool app, so you can take pictures with your families and friends, and uh, always a great time. And actually, in Snow Leopard, if you haven't uh, checked out, they've also added some new features up here at the top. In Snow Leopard, if you haven't already checked that out, this is Snow Leopard 10.6 I'm running right here. 
The next app is Adobe Photoshop. I'm not going to open it because it's a huge app, but any graphics, logos you see on my websites or having to do with my YouTube or anything, all made in Adobe Photoshop CS3. The next app is Microsoft Word. I have to say that if Microsoft ever did anything right, it was the Microsoft Office suite. Fantastic suite, PowerPoint, Excel, all those guys. I love them. I can't do the whole iWork thing. Terrible. The next app uh, is Microsoft Excel, which is Word's brother. I used to, if you advertise on my site, it's only $2 a month to advertise on my site. Quick plug. But if you advertise on my site, if you ever bought anything from me, you've ever done business with me, I have uh, an access log of that in a spreadsheet that I can open with Excel. The next app is Microsoft Messenger, which is MSN for Mac. Uh, I use it to communicate with my friends and stuff like that, which is really great, uh, really easy to use, and uh, always good to keep in touch with people. The next application is my favorite game for Mac OS X, which is Quinn. Uh, I highly rec recommend you check this out. It's like uh, Tetris for Mac. Not, it's just the best. If there's any program you ever download from this video, it's got to be Quinn, my friends. It's got to be Quinn. The next app is Fetch which is my FTP client of sort, uh, of, uh, of favorite, no, my FTP client of, of uh, choice. Um, it allowed me to put files on my FTP, FTP servers, get files off my FTP servers, uh, view them. It's really great, and it's how I manage my FTP servers, which if you don't know what that is, it's what powers websites. The next app is Dictionary, and uh, school starts uh, in a couple days. It starts this Tuesday, which sucks, but... Uh, Dictionary is really great when I have my laptop and I'm actually in science class because the science teacher, he'll ask the class this really hard question, this definition. He'll be like, what's, you know, global warming, for example. That's not that hard, but global warming. And everybody will be like, oh, I don't know what that is. And then I can just open up Dictionary real quick because it's my doc and research, re research global warming, hit it. And I can tell the teacher what global warming is. It's the increase in temperature in the average temperature of the Earth's near surface air. So, and he thinks you're really smart. So, definitely great if you're bringing your Mac to school. The next app is QuickTime Player, which big controversy right now. Is it QuickTime X? Is it QuickTime 10? No one really knows. But it's got these great new movie recordings, audio recordings, screen screen recordings. Uh, it's the new QuickTime, which is fantastic. The next application is Xcode, which you can code applications for Mac OS X in, uh, but especially iPhone applications, and that's what I use it for. I am releasing a new app to the App Store called Planet Luke. Watch out for it. It'll be there soon. System preferences. You can pretty much control your Mac from system preferences. If you right-click on it, new feature in Snow Leopard. Oh, what is with that? Anyways, I thought you could right-click on it, uh, and all these stuff would come up. But anyways, you can control all your stuff from system preferences. The next app is what I'm using to actually record my screen and my audio video picture in HD right now. It's called ScreenFlow. It's worth $99. Totally worth it, guys. Totally worth it. Over here you have my, that's the end of my applications. Over here you have my document stack, my application stack, which is now scrollable, which is good. Uh, as you see, I have Firefox there, yay, um, and my download stack, which is right here. Here we just have a folder for an upcoming website I'm releasing, mycreativemac.tv. Student Council folder for school. Up here we have my iStat menus. Uh, you can definitely check those out. They're cool. You can monitor your CPU usage, your computer temperatures, your network, all that stuff. So guys, this has been Luke from LukeDemarco.com. I've tried to fly through this video so I can make it in under 10 minutes. So if I talk really fast, I'm sorry. But uh, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And we'll talk to you in the next video. Take care.